Analyzing the underlying structure of an image can enable manipulation of repeated elements within that scene. This analysis involves finding correspondences between image elements, their relative depth order, and their spatial arrangement. Here, we show several applications enabled by our system for manipulating repeated scene elements. To detect repeated elements, the user only needs to make a few scribbles. Red scribbles indicate a selected instance, and green scribbles mark the background. The user's red scribbles are used to find a template contour. The template is enhanced by adding local direction information to form a 2D vector field. Here, the template contour is shown with its local orientation given by colour. The user's green scribbles are used to find the foreground region. We use hierarchical segmentation of the foreground image to find a boundary image, indicating potential boundaries around and within the foreground. Intensity within this boundary image indicates confidence of object boundaries. Object repetitions are typically deformed, so simply using the selected template to find object instances will lead to poor results. In the example, only a few boundary points, shown in red, match the template. Thus, we expand the initial boundary lines to strips of a given width to accommodate possible shape differences between the template and other instances. Every point in this expanded area is assigned both a magnitude, representing boundary confidence, and a local orientation. See the top right diagram. Orientation information is color coded by the color circle. Note that opposite directions have the same local information, so this boundary band map is more continuous than it appears in the diagram. We call this 2D vector field within the expanded boundary a boundary band map. After placing the template at some position, we compute the matching score by summing local direction similarity between every pair of corresponding vectors. For greater flexibility, we typically search using three different orientations and scales of the template. A sliding window is used to move the template to each image position. We use FFT to accelerate calculation of the matching score. Positions with locally maximal score are taken to be candidate matches. Here, we show matching candidates with the corresponding template overlaid. The intensity of each matching centre indicates the matching score. We further refine each detected object contour using a snake. Typically, work on active contours only considers local edge strengths, but we also take into account global and local shape matches using the template as a shape prior. The figure shows our refined energy map and active contour results. To determine the relative depth ordering where instances overlap, we use Gaussian mixture models to analyse colour information. We use topological sorting to infer a consistent layering for all instances. We use alpha matting with a trimap to determine precise object region boundaries and opacity. We set non-overlap boundary regions as unknown areas in the trimap. To map the instances to each other, dense correspondences are needed. Shape contexts are used to match boundary points, and then thin plate splines are used to model the transformations which give dense correspondences. Occluded object parts can be completed using other non-occluded objects as a template. A completion mask is used to guide this process. Dark grey pixels come from the deformed template, while white pixels come from the original object. Graph cut is used to find an optimal seam between these areas. In summary, we can detect repeated elements, find their relative depth order, and determine a dense correspondence between instances. This semantic analysis enables a number of applications shown at the beginning of this video. Here we show more results. Since missing object parts are completed and we have their layering order, we can rearrange their relative positions and depths. Here we change the relative positions of persimmons to put them in a line and change the layering order to satisfy perspective constraints. We can also rearrange repeated image elements to achieve an image repetition effect. Here we repeat some cups. 
Note that the new cups are not simply copies of existing cups. Since our completion algorithm finds a completion path using GraphCut and combines parts from different images. Another example of repeating flowers is also shown here. It would be difficult for previous image completion methods based on searching for similar patches to achieve these effects because there are no local patches in the original image that contain both red fruits and yellow flowers. The dense correspondences we find enable user editing to be transferred from one instance to other instances. Here we show an example of copying part of a door and pasting it onto a yurt. This editing action is transferred to all other yurts. The second example transfers the user drawn pattern on one cake to appropriate positions on other cakes. Edit transfer of strokes is a useful tool since stroke based image editing is widely used for various applications. Deforming repeated elements in an image while maintaining consistency is laborious if done manually. The dense correspondences found by our method enable simultaneous deformation of a group of repeated image elements. Here we show such deformation propagation for a group of lanterns. We can replace repeated objects in one image with other objects from another image while preserving the relative locations and depths of the original objects. Here we replace lamps in an image with a different kind of lamp